From his assistant of the last five years, there was praise for the Macomb County Medical Examiner. Dr. Spitz is a well-educated forensic pathologist and is highly respected in this field. From some of the 10 Macomb County commissioners, embarrassed by the fatal bullet fired into the back of the neck of David Whitlack, execution style, there were questions that showed frustration such important evidence of murder had been missed. It seems like there's a right way and a wrong way to do things, so why wasn't that part of your practice normally? How was the bullet missed uh, the first time when you examined the body? Spitz would say a badly decomposed David Whitlack would make the autopsy difficult. The bullet, despite what has been reported, was lodged high up in, in the neck adjacent to uh, a dental work which was quite extensive in Mr. Whitlack. But the St. Clair family that lost 25-year-old Robbie Simpson in December of 2006 still wanted to know why Spitz was standing on his decision of suicide in that case when a laundry list of doubt, including the presence of Buck Winchester at the time of the shooting in Buck Winchester's house and with Buck Winchester's handgun, makes that death more like murder. Dr. Spitz told me with a contact wound to the head, Robbie would not have started bleeding until after he fell to the floor there in the home. The photos show blood on top of a desk, alongside of the desk, and all around the body of Robbie. Michigan State Police continue to investigate the Simpson case as a homicide. In the meantime, here in Macomb County, the Sheriff's Department have provided no updates as to their investigation in the Whitlock murder, but the Macomb County commissioners want to re-interview Spitz in the future. In Mount Clemens, Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News.